All right, let's go ahead and add a few more touches here to this base template. Now that I've sort of got a base color scheme, I wanna sort of get my spacing where I want it. And what I mean by that is my margins on my page, right? You know, I drew that rectangle down here and it's definitely not centered. The margins aren't gonna be equal. So I'm gonna add a few guides really quick just so I can get a, uh, a idea of uh, my spacing. And basically, I think I wanna go with a, a 0.25 inch margin all the way around. Now you can pull out your guides like this and you can watch the little X value there and try to hit right on 0.25. Uh, but you can see I can't quite get there. So I find it a little bit easier. I'm gonna drag that back just to go to the uh, layer I believe it's under. Um, I'm actually not seeing it. Let's go just do a search for guide here. Oh, there it is, new guides under view. So view down to new guide. And then we can set the exact position. So I can say I want this one at 0.25 inches. It's a vertical guide and hit OK. And then we can do that again, view new guide. And I'm going to set my next one. I know my document's eight and a half, so I want my next one at 8.25. So 8.25 inches, go ahead and hit OK. And then I'll do the top and bottoms. So whoops, view new guide. We'll set this one. It's going to be at horizontal at 0.25 inches. Hit OK. And then it's 11 tall, so my last guide here is going to be at 10.75 inches and hit okay. So now I've got my four guides in place, I can uh, I can edit my text a little bit. And now that I've actually got those in place, I think 0.25 margin's a little bit small. So I think a half inch margin's gonna be better. So I'm gonna quickly uh, change these guides and add them at a half inch and be right back. I've made that switch here, so I've got a half inch margins. Now I can come to my text tool here and uh, align these guys up a little bit better. So I can move this reflection right over there to the left. I'll take this text box here, make sure it's sitting right in between there, come down there. Anyway, so now I can align those up a little bit. And then we'll just do two quick things here just to make this a little more interesting. So I'm just going to grab my shape tool here. I'm going to zoom in. A little bit on this area and I'll create a new layer here and I'm going to create two boxes here one box is going to be a I'm gonna set this stroke color here whoops set my fill color here to this same if I can get my fill color to open up there we go and now let's go ahead and create that box so I'm gonna drag one of these clear over like so it's gonna be pretty little and then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. And I'm gonna drag another box right below this. Now this may or may not work. I'm just sort of experimenting, playing around here a little bit. And we'll set this other color. I wanna use this other third color is, is why I'm doing this. So I'll set this sort of bright orange and I'll draw one more box underneath this, just the same size as the word reflection. And uh, set that color there. So. I'm just trying to integrate that a little bit into the design. And then I'm going to get my move tool on that second one and maybe make those guys touch or something like that. I don't know. We'll leave that alone for now. Okay, so I've got my base template. I'm going to now hide these colors. And I'm going to take all these layers that make up my base template and I'll grab them all, group them, and I'm just going to simply call this thing template. And again, you guys can... Uh, play around don't follow exactly what I'm doing I'm just sort of giving you a quick sample here but you know design your own little base template and colors and whatnot and graphics however you would like and uh, if you want to I didn't set this up but in your templates layer you could set up your paragraph styles as actual um, paragraph styles so Photoshop does support character and paragraph styles so I could set up an exact character style for the color and the size and the font and then use those, but I didn't set either of those up. I'm just gonna stick with this folder that I sort of just duplicate a bunch of times in my various layers. So now that I've got my base template set up, we're going to go ahead and create our various pages in the next video.